Hey guys, what's going on? This is Carbon from Commander Live, and today I'm going to be telling you guys, or explaining, the n upcoming Revolution map pack slash DLC pack for Black Ops 2. It'll be available first on Xbox on January 29th, and then following PS3 and, PSC and PC uh, February 29th. Um, it, in it includes five new maps and a new SMG gun. This is the first time... In Call of Duty history, they have actually put DLC, like weapon DLC, into a map pack. Or I guess it's called a DLC pack now. But it's probably going to be only for the zombies that's included in the map pack. Because it's four um, multiplayer maps and one zombies. And then the Peacekeeper SMG. But I will explain that stuff in a moment. And so, let's get started. For the first map, the multiplayer map, um, it's called Hydro. This map is perfect for long distance killing and with working floodgates to block paths slash take out enemies and it could be the best map in the DLC. And the reason it could be the best map in the DLC is because you can actually control the floodgates in the map. So one spot might be dry one second and then a second later there's a big pool of water coming at you and you're going to die. And it can block paths of enemies so um, it could be in the way of a bomb so you could make like a strategy for search and destroy where you rush to one of the floodgates and um, change it so it goes into one of the main paths of the bomb so you have less stuff to watch or um, try and kill people if you see them. If you see them running towards that one of the floodgates, you can uh, just go to that floodgate and turn it on or however you do it. I don't know how you do it, but um, yeah, I'm lo really looking forward to that map. The next map is Grind. This more compact map sees players use ramps and bowls for cover along the Venice, California boardwalk. So this map is set in a skate park in Venice, California on the boardwalk. So it's probably going to be a very small map. It might be the best free-for-all map that's going to be here. And yeah, so you can probably head glitch the ramps and go inside the bowls. Let's head glitch those two or something and climb up them. I don't know. Because, I mean, there's not really that much information about everything yet. They're keeping it kind of secret. And, yeah, so the next map is Downhill. This is a ski lodge in the French Alps with both an accessible interior and working ski lift for transport up the mountain for the perfect cover or death trap. So, basically, this map is pretty much a ski lodge in the French Alps. And there's a mountain on it that you can go up with a working ski lift, which means there's only going to be one way in and one way out of the mountain. That's what I'm guessing, because it says, for, for the perfect cover or death trap. So if someone's already up there, you're probably going to die, because, I mean, if there's one way in, they're going to shoot you right when you come up. So I don't really like that idea, because, I mean, it might be the best spot in the map. You could probably see everything, because you know you're elevated. If you've got a sniper up there, probably going to be almost impossible to take out. But maybe there's a way to make an avalanche happen or something. I don't know. Because, I mean, it's a mountain, it's a ski lodge, there's avalanches a lot around there. So we'll have to see. And the last multiplayer map is called Mirage. This is a town set in the aftermath of a sandstorm with sand dunes scattered in, in between buildings with one structure directly in the center, perfect for sniping and creeping up on enemy players. So this map's probably going to be one of the... It's a town set map, so it's probably going to be close quarters, um, a lot of corners and stuff. And since it's a sandstorm just came, probably going to be all sandy, low visibility maybe, um, the middle of the map for sniping. That's kind of a good idea because, I mean, it kind of combines long range and rushing. So if you like to snipe, this is this be a map for you. And if you like to rush and get it behind them pretty quick, this could be a map for you too. We'll have to see. So let's get into the zombies. The zombies map for the Revolution map pack is called Die Rise. So it's, an, it's a new zombies map set atop buildings that are literally falling apart. So uh, probably after a certain amount of rounds, the building you start on is going to collapse and maybe you'll fall inside of it or you have to jump to the next building or something similar to that. And that's going to keep you moving probably. Maybe you'll be able to come back to that. Maybe it doesn't collapse all the way or something because in most zombies maps you, you can go back to where you start. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to make it so you can completely not come back to that um, place where you spawned. I don't know. We'll have to see. And they kind of kept a lot of the info about that map secret. 
So, yeah, we'll have to see what that map has in store for us. And what everyone's been looking forward and for, for this map pack is the Peacekeeper SMG. The Peacekeeper SMG is the first ever um, gun that you would get from a map pack, or I guess this would be called a DLC pack. And, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be only for zombies and not for a multiplayer. Because, I mean, what if you bought the map pack or the DLC pack and someone else didn't? What happens? Does Do you not just drop the gun when you die? So, I'm guessing it's probably going to be just for zombies. It probably is going to be just for zombies. And, yeah, so, um, that's it. The map pack comes out January 29th for Xbox and February 29th for PS3 and PC. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and more videos coming soon. Thanks.